Come on. Put a mic in. There we go. There's my mic. Okay. Discord audio is working. Say hello, guys, to the stream, would you? Hello. There we go. Howdy. Hello, yeah. stream. <laughs> stream. Hello, hello. It is wonderful. I rebuilt my machine over the weekend. I had to pull it all apart and uh, reseed everything. And it, uh, yeah, when you do that. Sounds like a fun time. Not really. But it, it, it the machine kept resetting on me. I'd just be sitting there all of a sudden it would just reboot. And, yeah, probably a loose power connector yeah, somewhere. that's what I was thinking. And so I... Uh, did exactly, you know, went through the steps on that and gave it a little bottomy and put a new, a little bit more powerful PSU in. So we'll see if and that, when you do that, then everything resets. Everything. Mm. <laughs> so <laughs> that's been a bitch. And luckily I have it all documented, but I'm still missing little things here and there. But I think we're live now. It looks like at least uh, OBS is showing that, and I see a, ch a sub. Thank you, Robert, as always. And um, all of y'all are in. Karen, I'm stalling as Karen is uh, leveling real quick. Um, don't as a, I got ASI at level 12 wizard. Um, do you? Uh, is it a choice between a feat yep. or attribute or just only attribute? Nope, feet or, feet or ASI. Okay. So we'll I'll let you know here in a bit. Yeah, yeah, and I'll I'll go back through after tonight since I, uh, uh, like I promised I would. And I totally sw swished on that setting other things up last weekend. According to Rejectbot, I've been doing this for uh, uh, exactly three years. Three years now, as I noticed that. <laughs> wow. Yep, he has been. I need to get. I wish they would allow. So that if you are, they have. Um, other indicators if you know your partner for your longer subs and all that so unfortunately i don't have access to the robert we would give you a pretty little pin next to your name you know that would say sucker something like that you know so. <laughs> obviously <laughs> Ever since i learned i could use my prime membership yep. to do the subscription i've been doing it yeah yeah it's you get a good use out of it for a channel and we do appreciate it as always we, we put up with him. He tolerates us, though. So, that's it's give-give. Uh, okay, so uh, Tuesday night here with the boys, D&D, &D, Dungeon of the Mad Mage, episode 65. Holy. Uh, yeah, we've been going for a yeah, minute. 20 or something of those, I think, were, mad, were Dragon Heist. Um, mm -hmm. Or let, right in that range, a little bit less, I think. I have to go back and look. And then the rest has been underground. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so the recap was um, making it down to this level. And uh, you fought some rust monsters. Um, you fought a big mobilized walking tank contraption uh, that gave y'all fits for a little bit. Uh, and then... Um, came on back into the main cavern area to notice this big big archway was being constructed by a bunch of metal constructs and there were a group of hobgoblins along the uh, southern uh, eastern side of this uh, big cavern that were watching and didn't want to fight they were just basically wanting to find things and steal things to take them elsewhere and uh, they um, gave y'all information about it, the gnome that works in this, lives in this area that does all this, was doing all this construction. Uh, and uh, told y'all to look for a big, a big pile of junk uh, up on a ridge uh, that looks like a, basically an establishment, a castle type type deal. Uh, and uh, y'all found it. And uh, so, yeah, you've come up the... Uh, um, on the uh, eastern side of it here, and there's a door there. Um, you're seeing that looks to be a 20 foot spot. It's a, uh, on top of a 20 foot high plateau of twisted scrap metal rises is, rises a rambling palace made of jagged metal plates welded together. Circular iron doors are recessed in the wall. The slopes of the scrap pile are strewn with mutilated corpses of Rust monsters, contraptions, um, things that have been discarded, just junk everywhere. And um, 
Yeah, the doors are seven foot diameter circular doors, riveted iron plates fitted with iron handles, iron hinges, and big iron locks. And the iron lock is molded to look like a smiling gnome's face missing its nose, where the key would actually go. Um, I think that was uh, about it. And someone was about to go up to the door and knock, I thought. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm go invisible. Did we want to knock, or do we want to just go in? Why not knock? What's the harm? I don't know. Yeah, I'll tap on it three times. Okay. Um, there's no answer. Okay. So, well, shall we then? Assuming someone's gonna. Somebody want to check the door? Make sure we don't blow ourselves up. Uh... If I remember correctly, last time Duff said there were enough gaps that I could go through as the air elemental, so I can just go through and see. I think, or maybe I can unlock the door from the other side. Give it a shot. All right, Duff, so I'm going to try to go through the door. Mm-hmm. I don't, don't see why not. Um, you can um, filter through the door. You're going to see a room before you. You kind of pull through here, and what you see... Um, it's a, a twenty foot high ceiling in here. Um, you see, yeah, you move through the door and you're coming through, and you see a uh, in the um, a two foot high, roughly hexagonal table made of welded scrap metal is covered with scavenged bits of broken machinery and scraps of food. Uh, somewhere to the south, you hear kind of like. Uh, tiny, uh, like, like a uh, little tiny dancer box, little wind-up box kind of playing somewhere off in the distance. Um, and, uh, yeah, you see, it uh, looks like uh, passageways. Okay, is, um, is there an obvious lock on the door? Yeah, I said so. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah there's a sturdy iron there's lock on the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll unlock like, the door. Uh, so. Um, okay. Uh, who else is, where is everybody else? Uh, are y'all hiding behind? <laughs> Quetzal, what are you doing? Is the door open now? Well, he's getting ready to open the door. I'm just asking where everybody's at. So Just cause... standing outside waiting. Yep. Quetzal, what about you? What are you doing? Quetzal. Uh, I think oh, he's, he's not... Yeah, he's on his mobile. So, okay, well, uh, when you, um, let me make sure. Uh, doo -doo -doo. What are you doing, Kieran? Um, I'm going in. Going okay, well, um, You, uh, yeah, as you go to open the door and turn the handle, uh, almost immediately on your side of the door, uh, Felineal, a glyph uh, emanates from that side of the door and out exploding in a 20-foot radius here, um, a pulse of thunder. <laughs> slams into everybody i'm assuming yeah so uh let's see uh every one of y'all in that uh dexterity saving throws please most of y'all should make this i think yeah i was gonna oh uh that wasn't a saving throw that was uh yeah, would you make a save please <laughs> not that, that was better, better. Uh, well, I will let you know that that is a failure on your part, Shadow. 
So K I have evasion, so if it's the, even if it's a failure, it's only half damage. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's uh. So um, you want to use inspiration? Though, I think is what he's getting. At. I, I'm saying that's what I'm letting you know. He's up to if he wants to or not. So. Do I want to? I mean, it's early in the game, but sure, I'll try again. Okay. So no one failed the save. So you will take half this. Robert doesn't take or Shadow doesn't take any. Um, oh, wrong dice. You said it was thunder, right? Yeah. Oh, I should take half of the half for some resistance to thunder. Yes, thunder damage. Thunder! There you go. A big kaboom. We just got lionel Mm-hmm. But the door opens. Well, that's good. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Pretty much. Guessing that was heard for a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Things kind of chink around the piles, falls off the, you know, the the sides of the building, the room. Yeah. What's up, Goofus? Uh, yeah. 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 Everything inside there could hear that. All right. And uh, you will uh, see in a little corridor. But like I said, you, for a brief moment, you heard little, you know, Little wind up music coming from the south. Did you, and you not, said not was, anymore. You said, it, you said it was you said it was tiny dancer. Yeah, kind of like a tiny John. dancer deal. You know, the little bitty jukebox and a little bit. You know. Yeah, playing tiny dancer by Elton John. That's what you said, right? No, well, that's not what I meant by that. I meant just a, you know. Anyway. Uh, okay. Do we see anything further north? Uh, yeah. Just that's. Oh, sorry. That's that's actually another door. Right here. What do we know about this gnome? Gnome, gnome. Not much. <laughs> supposedly, oh, supposedly, he controls all the constructs on this level. Yes. Yeah, yep. he's, he's the power player. And supposedly, Crazy. he lives in this this area we're in. Okay. And this is a fortress built on a pile of trash. Yes. The, uh, of metal trash and such. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, a scrap lord. Very much so. I'll look around the corner. You see a hallway. We need music. If it's not Tiny Dancer by Elton John, I'm going to be disappointed. I'll find it. <laughs> I don't For my, for my level, Duff, I'm going to add the Warcaster feat. Okay. Okay. Probably makes right. sense for a blade singer. Yeah. True. Okay. Did we get Quetzal back? Or he's still having issues? Okay. He hasn't said anything since he'll yeah. be back. Yeah. See, his, he's on his phone showing a Discord, but he's not in the room. All right. Well, we'll just. Uh, Is there nothing to the east of me? Uh, one second. Yeah, it's hard. To, sorry, it's hard to see the way that this is done. But yes, there is. It, it's, oh, I can tell. It's yeah, it's all kind of wonky. What's up, Fable Forge? As always, good to see you. Yeah, into the hall. Just a small hallway, and it ends right there. That's weird. And very faintly. Flynn will hear off in the distance. Toodaloo! Do I have visitors? We knocked, but nobody answered. The wrong door. Well, we're new here, so we don't know which door was which. Well, well, now you're inside. What do you want? Uh, Winter, this is your deal, right? Is it? In the charisma guy. I mean, yeah, but like, does that work on this situation? <laughs> Let's I see. Where, I guess you're about. I, I, I bet you're about to find out. Apparently. So. <laughs> yeah, you, yes, we are. <laughs> you really want me to try to talk us through? I mean, what, it doesn't sound like they're upset or anything. They just want to know what, you, what we want. Yeah, Thorn just came in, so always say celebrate, celebrate button. Isn't that something Twitch is doing? I think Fable. Um, 
they're doing add-ons to to uh, sprinkle cheers and all that across channels and all that. I, I but I I hadn't paid attention to it. But yeah, I think it's a cheer thing. Um, can I help what you? What did we What did we come here for? Just to <laughs> find this person? Oh yeah. I, 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 uh, I, I, I'm out of character here, and I'm not actually saying yeah. this. Yeah. But um, I one think moment. Our, our, I think our idea was that if this guy controls all the constructs on the on the level, that would be a good thing for us to take away from him. At least that's what I was thinking. Um, I don't know if that's what y'all were thinking. So just in general, no reason. It's just like, oh, we found out there's a gnome. He controls some stuff. Let's take it away from him. We can control everything on the level without having to fight it all. I mean, that's what I, that was my thinking. How are we going to control? This, he kills this first, thing? asks questions later. The druid. Just take yeah. it. Survival of the fittest. Exactly. Hey, hey, like, and I'm the fittest. Anything to the north of me? A door. Let's go and see what this guy's up to. All right, where no, is the, no, the, the voice, the voice is coming from the south, not the oh, north. Okay, let's go. That's where the music was coming from too. Yeah, it's been going on, Fable. I think they've had it for about a month or so. I, I thought it started in October, but I remember seeing the email about it and all that. But I, I didn't pay attention to it, along with the DCMA email either. I just, you know, whatever. Twitch. Okay. <laughs> And is it this coming from this way or is yeah. it coming from? Well, it was. Okay. Yeah, you'll was. see. Was okay. Yeah. yeah. There's a door, or another uh -huh. hallway. Shy, aren't they? Uh, uh, we're just meeting the neighbors. Like we said, we're new to the area. That's come well, you're here. Don't be bashful. I, I think they are. You know, Rex, they they Yeah, y'all kind of start coming in, yeah, and you see um there's a um couple more little tables. Uh in the center and there's tools stuff laying everywhere you see strewn across the floor parchment uh you know like look like drawings and notes they're scattered everywhere and standing next to one of these tables uh, on a little stool is a gnome and we bring that music down just a tad and uh you see what uh is most certainly a wild haired gnome Wearing a grease-stained apron over some threadbare robes. And he sits, he's kind of, he's on a stool, but halfway on a stool, halfway sitting on top of a table. He's got some tools in front of him, and there's yeah, a, a tiny little music box in front of him that uh, uh, it, he's kind of looking at it. And you sat off uh, well, that, one of the glyphs. It doesn't match my... anything you just mentioned. Yeah, I just, I was trying to fix this. It was working until y'all opened the door. Thanks a lot. And standing <laughs> right behind him is a shield guardian. That's not any other shield guardian you've seen before, because this one's been painted with gold stars and crescent moons. <laughs> and he's sitting right behind the gnome with his arms crossed. And he just sits there. And Does he like, have he wearing an amulet similar to the one that I have? No, he is not. You do not see any accoutrements on the gnome other than what I explained. And you're far off anyway. I mean, you tell. Yeah, but you can control a shield guardian, right? If you shield have guardian a, is controlled if you have by, a right by an amulet, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, come on in. Uh, see. Hey, hey. 
How's it going? It, it it goes. I don't know where, but uh, oh, well, your friend is awful uh, airy. Hmm. You mind uh, moving back a little bit? Because when you do that, you papers fly up in the air and things are flying all over the place. Uh, could you tell the big uh, big window to, to back up a little, please? Back up. <laughs> Thank you. Anything to my west? Dust is everywhere. I'm trying to see if he sees you. One second, Robert, because you're about to get you know. You're moving around. Well, I'm invisible. I know you are, but he might be able to see you. He is a gnome, you know. Hey, he might dude. have special things. Zox. I also have boots of elven kind, so I'm silent. I don't think he's wearing his E. Yeah, it doesn't look like he is. Well, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you're just seeing uh, more of the place before you. And he just kind of sits there and he's staring at y'all. So, uh, well, yeah, you got in. So what's the... Karen, why do you not have a token? One second. Remove your token. What do you mean a token? Oh. I'm putting you back. You're not... Uh, let me put this. Boom. You didn't have a, an arrow. You weren't pulled from that. Somehow you are not pulled from the combat tracker, right? Okay. So he uh, he's just kind of standing up and he... He brushes off a little bit, and he just goes, "So you're in here now. What? Uh, what's? Uh, what's the meaning of breaking in? You just could have knocked at the door right here." And he points to the Whoa. door. That's right. You know. We did not know there was another door. There's multiple doors. Well, like we said, we're we're new to the area. We haven't been all the way around this place yet. So it's a you... big place. It is a big place. Lots going on, but why did you break in? I would have let you in. Well, let's... Yeah, we we knocked. We tried to get your attention from the other door, but we didn't know you were so far away from it. We thought maybe it was empty since nobody answered. Well, as you can see that it's not. True. I live here. I am Zox, Clamorsham. And uh, y'all would be... Kieran. Oh, what are we calling ourselves these days? You don't have a name? Weird. Uh, my name my name's Linder. Hello, Linder. What about your scaly friend next to you? He's got oh, something that's stuck in his teeth. He's he should, very quiet. He should brush him more often. And I, Kieran, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect him to talk much. You got a broke feather, you know, on your hat. You should get it fixed. It adds character. It adds character. <laughs> don't you have that's... mending? No, but that's <laughs> I, have, I have mending, and I did cast it on his feather a long time ago. Well, it broke since then. Apparently. <laughs> he doesn't it notice. Like it's it's the limp feature that I some of those you know wizards get every now and then a little limp in the feather. There's some pills yep. that they they make for that. I hear above ground, little blue pills. What, a, what about the big guy back there? Is he yours? Who? Oh. The big thing right there? Yeah, man, that's Rex. Hey, Rex. Rex just kind of stares. Doesn't do much. He doesn't talk much. I, guess I do all the talking. As much as I do all the talking. Who? who's your friend? I heard a voice behind me. Who's talking? Somebody else in here? Oh, that's probably the cat. What? It's a kitty that's cat? That's a cat. What cat? Kitty, kitty, kitty. He'll show I, don't, up. I don't even know where he is. I don't have true sight or anything. <laughs> well, don't be bashful. You don't have to hide from me. Golly. What are y'all scared of? What do you, what do, you do here? Uh, is that a trick question? I make things. So all the things around this level, these are your things. Yeah, I kind of made most of them. Yep. Kind of kind of nice cool. Talent. Yeah. Made all these metal contraptions to help me make the uh, big thing, the big arch thing you see out there. Did you make Rex? Uh, well, I don't actually, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> give me a moment. It I looks gotta, pretty cool. I got to reach back up into my, uh, you know, my storage material here and think about it. I don't think he did. I think he may have, uh, but I did put the nice little stars and moons on them. Make some pretty. <laughs> Why do I feel like that's like the shield guardian equivalent of putting those glow in the dark stars on your ceiling? 
Yeah. Hey, my kids love those glow in the dark stars. I, I loved them too. Here. <laughs> yeah, I've been here a while. I'm just trying to make this stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I made all this stuff because it's called. I'm making a big arts. It's called the Similar Crux, and it'll let me travel to places. So I need like to other levels it. of the dungeon. Uh, hey, is this? Have we seen this dude before? Or is it just a similar picture? Yeah, uh, maybe a similar picture. Why do they looks? Oh, oh, that's a uh, wow. Yeah, that that's, doesn't look like that a, doesn't look like a, that doesn't look an, uh, wow. That's uh no, that is not a gnome. That is a red mage from one of the other modules. Uh, but that's what that's showed up. Odd. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, that's a default odd. picture for an archmage. Yeah, it yeah. sure is. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. he he yeah he's yeah so. Um, he, he holds himself, you, you, you know, you, you're assuming that he's got some magical abilities upon him and all that, but, um, but, uh, he, uh, he said, Toby looks cool either way. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, he is a gnome, like I said, wily haired and filthy, uh, smudge marks everywhere. And, uh, he, uh, it, uh. He's going to build this similar crux. He's this is my wonderful constructs are helping me build this similar crux. It'll let the it'll let my scaladers pass through it and go places. I don't not for me though, just for them. Oh, interesting. So. You make a lot of the machines down here. What is the... Do, have you met the Mad Mage? Does he come here? The Mad Mage. I don't... Yeah, he runs this whole place. Like the whole... Thing, all, all the levels. I think I've heard of him. I think he's... I've heard a giggle every now and then emanating through it, the rocks and all that. Is that who yeah, you're he talking likes, about? He likes to watch. Um, Well... I'm trying to ask, I'm trying to check real quick. Uh, well, yeah, I know who he is, honestly. He's taught me a few things. Okay. I mean, nothing wrong with learning things from others. That's not something he's ashamed basically about. Basically, I spend a lot of time here, though. He giggles a lot. It's very annoying. Why are you here? Um, I mean, you mean here specifically in your in this room, or here in the dungeon? Both. Since you brought it up. Well, we came here to meet you because we heard you were in charge of a lot of the machines down here. I we made everything down here. About the level. Yeah. Um. Anyway, we're in the dungeon. We're just adventurers. We, we're treasure hunters. We, we've been through many of the levels already. There's more below, you know. What? There are more levels below. Oh, yeah, no. We're aware. Yeah, I don't, I don't go to any of them. They're boring. It's just me and, me and Rex here. Working on stuff. Making scaladers. Hopefully more can come through the, the similar crux once I get it built. Because once I got more of them, they can help me build all the things that I've got in my nice big brain. Even though he's got, you know, he's a gnome. I need that. Brilliant. Nobody else is around here. Nobody else is interested in building things. It's kind of boring. All up to me. And Rex here. Awesome. So I, I kind of look around and give everybody the... Let's go talk about this look. All right. See you later. We're going to head yeah. back out the way we came in. Good to meet oh, you. The door's right here. You can go out the front door. Isn't it glyphed as well? Um, remove it. Thank you. you well, I mean, you here. don't have to. The other, the other one's already well, broken. We can just go out that one. Well, no, I have a key. Okay. I mean, he sticks a key in and click, click, click. And then also he sticks the key right in the nose where the nose of his face would be, you know? And mm. click, click, and he opens up the door, and you see outside. Come back anytime, just knock. 
Okay. I'll start moving towards the door. But don't go any too close to the to the archway. They're busy and all that, and they're trying to keep pests away. I keep losing. The, the them. whole level, the whole level here has your stuff. Is you know you you have control over this level. Uh, control. I don't know if I call it control. I built all the mechanical things, and they report to me. Yes. Okay, right. so they're more independent than your typical automaton. Well, they do what I command them to do. What's the what's the direction to the next level down? The next to go back to down to down to down, he says, it is. Hmm. The DM must consult the map. One moment, please, because he's an idiot. Leave this guy um, be. Leave him his construct. <laughs> let's go on. Um, it's south. South, directly south, where those stinky hobgoblins. They don't think I know they're there, but they're there. And they keep. You don't see if he's got anything to trade. Uh, we can maybe barter with the guy if he's got anything cool to trade. Other than that, we'll. Yeah, I guess we can. That's on. that's all. That's all. That's all discussion. Yeah. We'll uh, figure it out. But yeah, if you go south from the archway, there's a level down there. Okay. Cool. See you around. Okay. See ya. Stay close to the paths and all that. There's a worm floating around here too. All right, fair enough. Big purple worm. That don't sound good. Do 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 do. Rexy. Hey, you should turn instead of being an air elemental, you should change into something more edible. What? <laughs> <laughs> if a big worm comes, you should be able to draw his attention. I didn't get out of his way before he gets to me. <laughs> no, -uh, you got to be the slow guy. Wrong. You're the slow guy. Oh my God. <laughs> Folks, why me? Karen, don't you fly? <laughs> it's not going to be me. Okay, why is my map? What did they do to the fancy grounds? Okay. Are you having trouble with the mask? I am having the mask, but I, I saw the tokens. I can't. Holy shit, what have they done? So I can resize them, but my facing indicator, normally you can move those. Yep, I noticed that too. Hold down what? shift. And Hold then down shift? Up. Is that what it is? Nah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, they changed it. They added a new extension or something that was controlling something else. But yeah, you, you definitely got something going on with it. Yeah, so shift key apparently now is the uh, changing. Awesome. Damn update. It's huge. So, anyway, all right. So, do 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 do. Let's see if we can get this back fixing again. It was kind of pretty music, wasn't it, Rex? And as you, you know, and he's saying that, and the door just kind of shuts on y'all. You know, do 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 do. We hear Elton John crooning in the background. Something like that. So. Yeah. Shadow's leaving you, apparently. So. Well, we can't see him, so. I know. <laughs> Shadow's leaving. Curiosity will kill the cat. Anything down this corner? Does it look like it? <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. Nope. I uh, just leave it to Shadow. He's just going to venture where he doesn't belong. Let me see what's here. Um, doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. we'll take them off the board. Okay. So as you begin to move that way, um, you, um, feel it's heat and you can see light, a lot of light, you know, pouring out of there. Uh, and he, there's a, I don't like what? A, wa of in a wave of intense heat is coming out of there and you see smoke also rising. Uh, and you come around. Gee, I wonder if it's a fire. Yeah, and um, you uh, see um, these little creatures um, move, moving through this pile of metal. Uh, oh, Flynnell's just going to roar right on in there. Okay, so yep. you're seeing what is a 
basically it looks like a smithy. Huge one. And all these fire creatures are working. Intense heat and thick smoke billows from five forges protruding from the cavern wall that you see here before you. And... Um, there are azers. Did I not get them all? Oh, there we go. Standing next to each one of them doing some work, banging on things. And then um, um, you see little little lava heads pop in and out of metal and move around and you just um it's like a little fire a little ch little child basically the size of a little child fire emanating all over it and they kind of run around the scraps of the pile and all that like a cherub yeah it's just it's like a little child honestly little kid but it's got it's but it's encircled in fire oh great running around and uh anything to my wife uh hallway and uh another door so basically go back behind it and you'll see boom dun to dun cool cool Cool, 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 cool. No doubt, no doubt. They're, some of the azers kind of stop. They look. They were uh, pounding on metal, making plates, metal plates, and things. You know, they're you know, and the little kids. You see them hop out, grab things, and bring them over and dump them in. You know. So they're just making weapons. They're smelting the scrap and they're not new making stuff? weapons. They're making metal plates. They're making you know, there's. Looks like you can't tell really what they're making, but they, that you don't see like they're you don't see swords and shields and spears. You see yeah. plates of arms and legs, and you see contraptions, pieces, and you know all these joints. You know. Hey, you guys work for the gnome? They all kind of. Uh, yeah. They kind of shake right. their head. Neat. Everybody seems pretty chill down here, actually. What's over that way, Duff? Yeah, it was just a uh, nothing. Oh. Sorry, just. Well, south we go, unless they stop us. You guys mind if we walk through? They don't even pay attention to you. Okay. We'll just go through. I, d I doubt they'll care as long as we stay out of the way. And we're just kind of, the kids just kind of watch you. We, we, it's possible we're missing some, uh, something. If we don't search the level, but I mean, it seems like it's just so peaceful. Yeah, you're walking in. Pretty, yeah. What's that? I said we can go back and kill everything if you want. No, no. Uh, I mean, I don't. All right. Not, not Surely there's some real hostiles down here somewhere. Well, so you move into this room. It's a 30 foot high room, and those two big uh, open, those two big areas right there are. 10 foot deep pools of shiny liquid metal. Right. Yes. Yep. Oh, good. Ah, so it's not mercury? No. Well, ah. no, it doesn't look mercury. <laughs> They're just it's pools like a, of hot metal. Mm-hmm. I said it was hot metal. I thought you said it was just, just liquid. Shot, well, I just no, it just it says two ten foot deep pools of shiny liquid metal. 
so it doesn't say what temperature it is no it does not actually your feet well there's heat everywhere so and you're in you know in, it's all emanating and then flowing into here also from the uh fires in the forge room that y'all just walked through but, right, right. but, but you put your hand over it you're not feeling an intense heat no okay and no way out you don't see a way out nope Sorry, Shad, I didn't mean to move you. It's okay. We can go back north through the forge and go south through the uh, the worm tr trenches. Yep. We got to find a way to work out. The guy said go south to get to the next level. He said go south from the... Uh, archway. Yeah, the archway that he's building. So we got to find that first. Uh, shall we go explore this northwest area before we go on south? I'm sure, why not? Plain to me. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Did I lose you guys? No, we're here. Okay, I was like, and there was no music playing? I'm like, what? I've opened up the room. Sorry. Y'all are... We're waiting on you. I... There we go. It's like, what the hell? I haven't heard any music come out of your side of Discord yet. Yeah, I hear no music from you. Hold on. Maybe. Well, I'm hearing it, but y'all no, are not. Hold on. Well, come on. Let's do this. And I don't hear anything on the stream when I turn that on. Well, son of a bitch. So, here we go. Now y'all will. Yep. It's helpful confirm. if you don't mess with the buttons sometimes. I should not push buttons. Okay. <laughs> Just need uh, multiple profiles. I do, but I, I saved it and I didn't put it. Don't ask. Don't, I'll get it all fixed. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so, yep. You're seeing uh, still the pile of scrap metal. And you see... Okay. What's next? Yeah, I figure as much. Let's keep going. Yeah, you just see. Uh, so this is this Tom. is his big pile of scrap bridge right here. No, this well, is that's his bridge. No, that's that's still his. Yeah, that's his home. Uh. Yeah, and you're just seeing. There's a scrap wall. Yeah, yeah. So. Yep. And that's it. And then to the north, continues on, and you see that thou shalt not pass markers. And you're just seeing um, tunnels. Uh, you see, um, you know, tracks walking all through here. You just see metal. You see kind of pieces of junk here and there. And as you, when you move into this area, you actually find a couple of mutilated corpses of hobgoblins. Do we make any kind of determination of uh, how you, they got that way? Uh, they have severe cuts to their bodies, 
very sharp, clean cuts. Like oh, sword? Well, or like what you see in these beasts that have been walking around. And pull them apart, you know? Sure. So... Yeah, and been dead for a couple of weeks. The uh, stream map is off. Yeah, sorry, guys. It's a big, big map. Oh, we're moving quickly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So y'all come. Yeah. You start moving to here and you're going to see um, before you more metal and scrap begins to pile up up to what is definitely about 40 feet high uh, of scrap metal. Uh, and you see a, like a, a um, it's just, just everywhere. I see an arrow. You. Yeah. It's that's like it's like a tunnel. You can kind of see, uh, and you see uh, you see a tail sticking out of the area right there, and you, you all of a sudden you hear kind of chomp, 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 chomp. You hear kind of crunching sound going on inside the, under the pile, but the tail is kind of sticking out from the backside, wagging like it's happy. What kind of tail? Like a rust, a rust, a rust monster. monster? Yeah, rust monster tail. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's just chomping inside there. Chomp, 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 chomp. I want to make sure my swords are well, well hidden. Yeah, Tucked well, when y'all yeah, when y'all came into the room, there was you, you know, they popped up, looked around. They have got you know, they are satiated with the amount of metal. And, you know, it look a big pile of metal or a couple of pieces of metal that are on your body. Uh, you, you lost. And they, they're you know. not even rusty. Yeah. That's where all the flavor lives. That's right. That's the, you know, all that extra flavoring. That's right. You're correct. Every now and then you'll see a little, little flash of light from inside a couple of piles of the, uh, metal and all that. Uh, a little fire dances out and a little giggle. <laughs> such tunnel yeah you're gonna you're gonna you know, want to walk around through them you're gonna see it's a tunnel it's just a bunch of stuff piled up it's a maze no fun tunnel system Kids, anything interesting in there no none that's none, none whatsoever sir <laughs> go <laughs> go Have fun. If you're thinking you're going to find anything in here, no. Good. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Move on. <laughs> yeah, now you're on the other side looking at the archway again. Okay. Pretty cool tunnel. Oh. This, is actually a, this is actually pretty small as far as level maps go. Is it not? It seems like it is. Maybe just because there's a lot of big open spaces. Yeah, it's pretty big to me. There's just not very many rooms in all this space. It's a big open room. It's one big open room. You know, yeah. Pretty much, except for the tunnels that you're now seeing. Yeah, and it looks like you to go anywhere. You have to go down 
this so these areas like i explained um the t or karen just goes down to go under that bridge into a tunnel this area is all behind a wall you know yeah, so, line, yeah. yeah. So if you really weren't here for the description but the, it looks like these trenches were dug by something gigantic and since the uh the gnome said there's a purple worm. I'm guessing the purple worm is the one that's digging these trenches. So you're saying I shouldn't be down there in it. That uh, we're going south, correct. and we got to go through there. I'm just letting you know that there's a purple worm running around here, and you're down in his trenches. I think so. <laughs> you have to switch to a fire elemental. I, I can fly as an air elemental. I can't fly as a fire elemental. Well, you, you got to get eaten. You got to take one for the team, and then you burn from the inside. It's a good plan. I'll go inside and you know, punch my way through or something. Fire. Should we wait and see if it makes a trip around this part of the loop? I can go down and sort it out, so I'm not afraid of it. All right. Go for it. I'm going to go Yep. Go explore. See a tunnel. Going, yep. So, Shadow, are you still invisible? I am. I, uh, <laughs> I can make myself invisible. That's a fair yeah, well. idea. Just don't get run over by a worm. Yeah, but unless you can see invisible, you can't really see him to follow him. My point. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. That is a very good point. Else, I'm just feeling like I'm all alone here, and that ain't a good spot for me to be. So I'll chill out with Linder. You start to go, when you make the turn, Flennial, your corridor begins to head down. Corridor here is going down? It's going downwards. Okay, I'll go backwards and hey, y'all are here. This, this is the way to the next level. I think it's going. At least it's going down. So yep. Yep. Um, I come back up. So um, do we want to go the other way and check it out? We, we, should, we should try to kill something before we leave. <laughs> yeah, we have that big giant construct in the northeast. Oh yeah, yeah you did. Something. Oh yeah, I mean that one gave y'all fit for a little bit until you got. To one, until I figured out that legs didn't have each of them had 300 hit points and only 50. I gotta get Quetzal. Quetzal's here, but I've been moving since he seems like he's AOA. Yep. He's back now. He's in di Discord anyway. Yeah. Well, he's all dead. Yeah. So now when you, be, when you move, okay, when you come to here, you begin to, the tunnel now has a ridge line. It opens up. You can see a, you know, um, you know, has a landing up above and you're hearing some grunting and some, uh, you basically, you're hearing hobgoblins talking All right. and they told you that they live in this area South. Did they tell us to leave them alone? Uh, they weren't, they y'all ran into them up there. Did they really remember? just said that they were here. They just been trying to find ways to, take metal and, you know, steal metal. They were just, you know, scavenging what they could find here. That's all they've been doing. They're up the right Do wall I or up the left wall? Up no. How long does your invisible or last, the south wall Shadow? Or the wall, I should say. Uh, it's basically, as long as I'm not in bright light or I don't attack, I, it's, I can keep, keep doing it. Oh, it's just uh, what, it's the, what, which one is that? The sh it's it's level uh, Cloak of Shadow. Cloak of Shadow, that's right. I, I guess it's new. So I say yeah, it's at low use... invisibility while it's out in bright light. Yep. All right. Yep. I think you, you do actually do have to cast a spell, don't you? Or is it just no. invisible? It looks like it's just as long as he stays in dim light, his action, you can use your action to become invisible. Okay. All right. So it is a spell. It's not a spell. No, it's not. A, it doesn't even have a spell, though. So. It's just an ability. It's not really a spell. It's yeah, an it's ability. Not. It's just an ability. I was thinking it was an ability that allowed you to cast a spell. 
it's been a while since I read it. No, he just uses his action and he becomes invisible. He remains invisible until he makes an attack, casts a spell, or in an area of bright light. So he's yeah, de truly hiding in the shadows. Um, Can you have mass the rest of that tunnel? Because I want to make sure yeah. his connection there. So there are, uh, and you're seeing, you know, um, hobgoblins. There's there is some uh, some fires, uh, in a few spots. You see some ballistas, kind of set looking down along this cavern area here, uh, this um, tunnel area that's going back out, um, and across the way. You see st more stalagmites, uh, some other hobgoblins dragging some stuff around. You see some dogs uh, that look kind of big. Um, I haven't seen these kind of dogs before. Um, Two-headed dogs that the hobgoblins hey, puppies. Are, they're walking with. Um, and... Um, they are um, basically piling a few pieces of metal about. You know, it's like they're you know looking at scrap stuff. They are, um, um, yeah, just kind of milling about. Gary, I'm gonna cast spider climb on myself and just climb straight up the wall. <laughs> Poke my head over and look at the closest one and go, "Hey guys, do you really?" Yes. You're, but you're invisible. Are you? No. Are you just? I'm not invisible. Oh, you're invisible. Um, and okay. I'm not. I'm not on top of the wall yet. I'm still holding on to the edge, with just my head above, so okay. I can scramble back down what the wall if I need guys to. Do? Okay, I don't need the map up for a second here. Um, we've already met them. It's not like they're just gonna be like. Well, not the. Well, there's some. There were some out front, but these are they more here. Know that. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same same group. No, not really. Uh, <laughs> I don't mean the same individuals. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the uh, the dogs begin to bark viciously. You know, these hobgoblins are holding on to them, and they're these dogs are being dragged toward your voice, where you yelled out. Um. Okay. And you see four some gob four hobgoblins, five of these dogs here. And they start. There's. There's death barking. dogs. Well, that's a interesting name. Yeah, they're death dogs. What they're called. Oh, uh, that's a doggo. It's a dog, with two heads. Why are you here? I'm just looking around. Go away. This is our place. We got here first. We're not trying to take it from you. We're just looking. Nothing to see. Go away. I like your dogs. And I scramble back down the wall. They're good puppies. Good puppy. <laughs> it bites his hand. <laughs> hey, you guys want to help us kill the worm? Uh, no, you can go right ahead, kill Big Worm. Our, we <laughs> our weapons can't beat its metal plates. Where is okay, the worm? we're taking all the loot then. I don't Where know. is it? Uh, Where is the worm? Uh, you just gotta wait and listen for it. It'll show up sooner or later. Usually can we stand on top of the wall and wait? Well, it's not anywhere around here. It better not be. Oh, okay. It's probably digging around underneath somewhere. Hmm. Well, Do you know any surefire way to attract it somewhere? We haven't seen it in a while. Interesting. But you have seen it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And lived. Well, the leader kind of looks at you and he just kind of, yeah, we fight best we can. But you can see that he's looking at his other guys and they all turn and look at him, you know. <laughs> uh, hold on a second you said your swords couldn't beat its armor plating yeah that's right the worm 
a alive or is it a construct? What does construct mean? Big word. It's a machine. Construct yeah, means yeah, machine. Yeah, big word machine. Yeah. Okay. Oh. But it's been painted purple. That'll... Yeah. That'll definitely have to change our tactic a little bit, I think. Hmm. It got big, big mouth and a big stinger. A stinger, interesting. Yeah. Anything for where does it usually come from? Just Zox. anywhere? Zox's place. Oh. Zox wants to know, right? Yep. Yeah. Does the Zox control this worm also? Well, well that's pretty fair. Assume he controls everything metal in here. I don't know if he actually does control it. I think he just makes it. Well, they're building something, and yeah. I doubt just he, building he told it you. because so hey, he's hey, going to do it. He, call, he told you. Yeah, he, he told you yeah, that he's building the Simulacrux and that he needs it so that he can bring more Scaladers sc through to help him build stuff. It's a big contraption so they can come through. He can have more of the Scaladers, yeah. which are the big scorpion-looking things. Mm -hmm. And, and there you, you've seen them welding... And bringing metal plates and over, you know, dragging stuff over to the arch, and making this thing. That guy's gonna build an army one day. He's building a fortress. Then he's gonna build an army. Yeah, probably he's working on it now. Yeah. Nah, I don't he's... care. <laughs> no, I don't. I, no, I think that's kind of a cool thing. Well, I, I guess if it hangs out over there, we should go back and hang out where we were before. Wait for it there or see, see if we can lure it somewhere. Did they say if there was any way to lure it? Mm -mm. He, he, they haven't seen it in a while. Hmm. We all have the same goal in mind. We're going to ride this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dune. Oh, we got to yeah, kill exactly. it and harvest its soul to make us better at stuff. Hey, we could get some of that plating off of it and take it back to the haberdashery. See oh, what they yeah. can come up, get us some armor. Um, All right, I'm gonna start going this way. <laughs> I went over Let's go. You're right. We need to get it back over this way. Uh, let's see. Well, um, so this definitely goes down a level. We might as well go and just see how what it looks like. Back. Well, if you go down, yeah, you got you know, you know, take you quite some time to go down. But yeah, it does. I'm just trying to see where the worm. I'm sorry, I was trying to find out exactly where is said worm. Um, I believe it is. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. So you haven't seen it, and they haven't seen it for a while. I was saying we should go back to where that where I pointed that purple arrow because that's kind of where they said it comes from, right over by where Zox lives. Well, they haven't seen it for a while. My guess is it went down to the next level. That's possible. It does. They did say it comes from underneath the ground. Yeah, it's digging. That's the thing that's digging all these trenches. So let's just follow it down. Maybe we can find it. Sounds good. Okay. So we, uh, we're headed down. Down. All right. One second, please. One moment. Down, 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 down. Yeah, because I have to uh, now. Yep, I'll be right back. Another map. All right. What do we have here? 
All right. Okay. Um, where are my maps? Maps and maps and maps. Is. Water deep dungeon of the mad mage fourteen. Damn. All right, let's put a mask on this. And where are y'all? Expanded dungeon, expanded dungeon, expanded dungeon. Up from, okay. All right, here's where y'all are coming out at. All right, let me know. Let's see when Duff gets back, and then we will. Uh, Flannel, about how about how long is your your uh, hurricane force going on? You've been doing that quite Six a while. Hours. Yeah, I think you're you're overdue for cooldown. Okay, then we should take a short rest. That seems sensible. If we're gonna do that, I need to <clears throat> refill my ring of spell storing. Y'all can take a short rest in the middle of the tunnel. Sure. If that's what you want to do. The worm tunnel. A short Sounds rest fun. is given. Okay. Short rest is given. All right. And as y'all sit in that tunnel way. About halfway down, as you're moving along, the ground begins to shake. <laughs> and air is rushing towards you. Run away! Yeah, that ain't good. <laughs> y'all are stuck in the cave as it comes upon y'all. And where is our lovely little deal? I thought our chances of seeing this thing was really slim. I no, should have known. It's coming. No, it's coming. Actually, you're going to see it here in about two seconds. <laughs> well, I can run away pretty fast. Well, y'all are about halfway down, and this thing is moving. Blooming. How fast does this thing move? Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah. So, basically, y'all can feel it uh, coming toward y'all. It is definitely something is moving big and large. In the cat, someone grab my leg as I'm moving. Oh, like God Almighty! <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you and, moving in the cat? What is it? Shadow? Yeah, no. Sorry, yeah, exactly. No, I moved my leg and my cat grabbed my ankle and bit it. And I'm like, <laughs> right when I was saying, yes, okay. Everybody, everybody, come here. So, here, is that? Are we supposed to be on a map? Because I'm missing it. You're yeah. Not, yeah I'm well, it's, I'm gonna give it to you. So basically, okay, dark, yeah. So. As y'all were moving along, uh, you're going to be right in the center of this thing because this is the best, this is a better corridor. But here, let me, and you're just going to know that the corridor goes backwards, you know, like this. Uh, from y'all and coming toward y'all, <laughs> is this? Yeah, that doesn't look like well, that's that's the best token for it, yeah. But you um, basically see um, um, a metal plated, yeah, big worm with purple paint kind of splotched all over it, and jump, 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 and it just kind of slithering through, and uh, it's coming right for y'all. How far away is it? Oh, yeah, I'll feel it. It's probably a good 100 feet. Come All right, good. I'm going back into an air element again. Don't even worry about it. I got it. I got it. I got us covered. It. What Just get he... inside. What is he doing? Inside what? Just come and step in front of me. You know that hut takes a minute to cast, right? You're a minute. It's 100 feet away. 
It's moving fast. Really. Yeah, you got, you don't have a minute before it's up on you. There's no definitely the thing. Yeah, the thing's moving at a pretty good clip. I believe in you, Wind Man. As it comes, chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, I right. do shift. I don't like this. I, I cast my uh, my new spell chomp. in preparation for chomp. this potential battle. Chomp. Chomp. And I'm also going to, um, as a bonus action, a blade sing while this thing's approaching us. Because <laughs> we can't run anywhere, it looks like. Chomp. 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 You said it's still 100 feet away. It's moving toward it. Yes, y'all are deciding what to do. It's, I can yeah. put a, I can yeah, put a wall before Would you up. back up just a smidge? Because I need some room. That's not 100 feet. Yeah, I can put a wall of fours up to buy some time and see if that you makes You are now sense. all inside the purple worm. That's fake news. <laughs> I'm literally trying to do something, but there's no room for me to do it. <laughs> I, yeah, 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 so you're, you know, you, you know the tunnel's about, like I said, it looks like about four breasts, yeah. So, and it's coming toward y'all. Jump, jump. Oops, wrong shape. What is it Everett's you would like ten- to do? It's Everett Black Tentacles. Oh, I'm going to up it to... Okay. I'm going to up it to... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't even give me any bonuses for casting at a higher level. I don't think so. Let me see. What is their tentacles? Basically sprout out, out of the ground. Ever? Which, which one is your casting again? Sorry. Everett's Black Tentacles. Where the hell is it? It is in. Oh, I didn't go far enough. I forgot. You've got. Yeah. Okay. I see it. Um, okay. No, there's no. Uh, there's no upcast. It's just a deck save. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, so, I'm just gonna cast that then. Okay. So <laughs> you're basically twenty foot square. Tentacles turn the ground into an area of difficult terrain. When the creature enters the affected area for the first time, the start of its turn it must succeed a dexterity saving throw or take bludgeoning damage and be restrained by the tentacles. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and it's restrained is what would happen to it. Let me make sure. Correct. Okay. Uh, okay. So it hits it. And it's cause it's just <laughs> comes right mm-hmm. into it. I guess the first deal you've got to save for it. One moment. Here, let me show you more of the thing. I can block it. I'll, I'll put up a wall of force. All right. It's it's restrained. You got some damage to it also. Yep. 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 Yeah. No damage resisted, but it's restrained. <laughs> uh, well, actually, hold on a second. That's a magical attack, though, right? Yeah, it is. Weird. That's supposed to take. It should take that. That aren't for not the for not a magical attack. Oh, yeah. You think magical? No, it not. That's there's. I see the kicker. There's something else. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, those bludgeoning tentacles do nothing to it, even though they're magical. Yep, that's correct. Uh, okay, no damage. No damage, and it stops. It, you know, you know, like, you know, a truck hitting a wall all of a sudden because it doesn't say that it's immune to the restrained and okay. y'all may roll me initiative. Oh my God, I rolled a three. But it does fill up the whole tunnel. Let me let you know that. Looks like you'll have to roll Quetzal. Oh, sorry, Quetzal. I shall roll. Okay. Well, okay. Well, wonderful. Um, what size does it give this thing? What do you mean? It's a gargantuan creature. That's it bigger is. than huge. Yeah, it's I huge. Guess. It's filling the whole tunnel up. It is the tunnel. Yeah. 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 And you can see that it is definitely a metal creature. Yeah, I was looking at that spell. So telekinesis says the creature has to be huge or smaller. So I guess gigantuan is bigger than huge. Yeah, that's outside your. It's it's above your pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> All right. Um, one of um, Quetzal's Quetz. Okay, Quetzal's not in fantasy. Hey, okay, it's. Oh no, I rolled for him. Oh, Quetzal, you're in, are you? Because I could. He, he likes his uh, roll that I gave him because he's a top of the order. He hasn't responded for a yeah, while. He's... Yeah, I see that. Uh, I'm back. My internet went out. Are you back, Quetzal? Because I see you in Discord and I see you in Fantasy Grounds. So the question is, do you have control of your character? You're up first. Yeah, I think it's negatory because um, I've been moving this guy for like the last half hour. Yeah, I knew you were. Okay, well he's in. He's in Fantasy Grounds. Weird. Um. So well, I mean, but he can't move into the tentacles because he would get swiped by strand. Yeah. Javelins. I guess. Let me see. Has he got anything else? No, he doesn't. Uh, except his hand crossbow. So we'll. Uh, oh, he's got. <laughs> forgot he's got an you know a armory of a javelins uh, at his disposal. Um, so he'll just chunk one. Kank. <laughs> oh, but he has. Uh, doesn't he have extra attack? Yeah. So he'll. Uh, yep. Yeah. So he'll uh, throw another one. Kank. Action surge. Uh, he throws it, and it it just kanks into the side of it and just falls straight down. Does nothing. What are you going to do, Felenio? I'm going to fly right past the tentacles, right up to it, and attack him. Well, it's a 20-foot. How far up do those reach? It's a 20-foot I... square. Yeah, it's right. a square, so it's just a ground effect, I'd think. Yeah, that's where I thought it was. I thought it was a square. It does thing. say it does say square on the ground. You're right. So, all right. So yeah, yeah, you're flying. You're flying above him. Him. Yeah, right yeah, you're flying above him. Yep. Magical bludgeoning does. That's yeah, that's my average black tentacles also does magical bludgeoning. We already knew that. Yeah, I wasn't paying enough attention, I guess. Okay, well, I'll back off. That's not a damn thing I can do for about it. Not as an air elemental. Okay, hold on a second. I think they've got this coded wrong because I am reading it, and I think y'all may be correct. Let me go back and look this one more time because it has the attacks that are non-magical. So y'all should be able to... Why would they be doing that? Um... Poisoning, bludgeoning, piercing, and pretty much all the attacks from non-magical attacks that aren't... Yeah, it's got a, the adamantine. I think that's what's throwing it off. Um, oh, the adamantine thing is only supposed to be no for, crit damage, I think, right? Well, but it's 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 it's, it's got this immunity aligned to it that it has to have a man... It, basically, yeah, it what it's saying is... Everything. No, it's immune, it's immune from non-magical attacks... That aren't adamantine, so the y'all should be hitting with. Okay. Those. Yeah. 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 So that should be doing damage. Yeah. So it's coded wrong, huh? Okay. So let me go back. So it's taking a total of twenty nine. Does it right. have a not magic on there on the effect? That's, no, it's got the it's got the uh, not a Um There's a bunch of immune other things to it. Yeah. So if it's not adamantine. Yeah, it needs a not magic on there also, because that's why. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. So I'm gonna. Uh, so let me let me add that in there. So it's uh it's, um, comma, exclamation magic. And that how that does that, Brian? Yep. I think. Oh, magic, adamantine, and then. A space. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, there you go. Did it. That did it? Okay. So, yeah, I just dropped the damage on this. I'm going to do my second attack then. Okay. And, Linda, you can grab your damage and give it to him. Yep. Yep. And then I'm going to back off. Okay, Kieran. Get him. So, 
You said this thing's taking up the whole tunnel. We have nowhere to go. That's correct. Well, we the tunnel goes back behind us. For mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. In, map isn't totally you could, accurate. You could run away. This is just, yeah, this is the going down the next tunnel, and that was just easier to put y'all on that one. Uh, Understood. So we're, we're going down. It's coming from behind us then. No, it's coming it's up. Coming it's coming from towards level 14. Yeah, exactly. It's coming up towards y'all while y'all are going down. Got it. Okay. And it's 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 com- it's restrained. At yeah, the moment, currently. it is restrained. That's correct. And the purple is ten- Everett's black tentacles on the floor. Yeah, you want to so touch? You want to touch them? <laughs> no, I don't. Come but on. it's metal. They tickle. I'm gonna step up here. I'm gonna see if I can actually damage this damn thing. Well, but- we've damaged it now. You give it a little puncture, yeah. I'm gonna do a uh, fifth level cone of cold and see if I can't fr- like maybe freeze some of that metal or something, jam that thing up a bit more. Well, we don't want a big statue of a worm in the middle of the hallway either, because we will have a hard time getting around that. Well, the spell I was going to cast is called Enlarge Reduce, and that would oh. make that worm a lot damn smaller if I needed That's to get true. around it. But if we do have a way out, we don't necessarily need to get around it, so I'm going to hold the spell. I'll try to damage it first, see if I can. Yeah. I don't know, Kona Cole might maybe even freeze that metal, but I don't know. We're going to give it a, we're going to see what happens here. All right, Tarry the Sky. Oh, here, yep. I, uh, give it the name, big old. Oh. He saved. It's a metal the purple hell worm. Saved. Because it's painted purple. So that makes it a purple worm. Constitution saving throw. Creature takes 88 cold damage on a fail save or half. So let's drop that yeah. at least. Yeah. But so you can still roll it. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yep. I'm gonna back up. Matter of fact, I'd back up even further than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my moves anyway. Okay. Pass your turn. Yep, I'll pass. <laughs> Shadow. Guess I will back up as well. You guys ready? Because we're going for it. Do it. I'm using my level seven spell slot on a lightning bolt. Okay. And that's a high level spell slot. Yep. Just make sure you don't hit us. Nope. It's a line. Yeah, lightning bolt. It's a... Wow! That sucks. I can't make him re-roll that with an inspiration, can I? Mm-mm. That sucks. You suck. <laughs> I didn't do anything! You rolled it! Yeah, you did. Don't lie to me. <laughs> we got, got a card we can use. You tweaked it somehow. Uh, hey, yeah, look let's check the cards. I didn't do anything. Give him the damage. There's, there's no way. There's not a, there's not a card that I know of to make me re-roll that failed, set, that wonderful, successful save against your lightning bolt. Yeah, I can't. There's nothing in there that I can, that yeah. I have that can do anything to it. Yeah. I need your tentacle. Where, did I close that? I did. I want to know about this. Can he, I guess roll your damage. damage. Yeah, give him the damage. Oh, that tickled. Crappy damage roll, too. Tickle, tickle. Look at all those oh, ones and twos. That's some nonsense okay. right there. Okay. I've never liked these digital dice. Anything else, Linder? 
You back up too? Yep. I think that's the consensus at the moment. But I'm going to spit out a Skittle as well. On the lizard. Alright. So it makes a strength check. Or dex check. To... Oh, it'll... <laughs> Yeah, it'll be using its strength check here to see if it can break your tentacles. I'm assuming that check will break the DC of your spell. I do believe so. Yeah, I think it's so. a level four. Yeah, and so that allows it to move through the area, uh, and it will gobble up. Does the check happen at the beginning or the end of its turn? Let's check that. Uh, at the start of its turn. Yeah, it uses its action. It uses its action to go through. It's not his check. It's me moving. So It uses its action. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it uses its yeah. action to break. So the tentacles are free of it. It's free now. Um, also not on a square. Well, I'm trying to see what to do here. It's just coming straight. It takes up the... Oh, damn thing. Uh, and we'll just... Uh, but the question when it does that, how does it not just burrow right through y'all? Um, and like just go right... Yeah, it's going to gobble y'all up. Does so it take an action, action to do that? Yeah, this, it doesn't have to make an attack roll. No, it just opens its mouth. That sounds fake to me. Well, I don't know what else to do because you're not, you are not going to stop a boar worm standing in its track. So, okay. so the question is, if its mouth is is that big, there's no. It, so it, it it's used its action. So there's not an attack, but it just moves through y'all. But the question is, to do that. I'm trying to understand why I wouldn't have some like, how would I just not either gobble you up or basically roll right over you? Basically, you just squish you. I don't That's get D&D. that, you know? So, because that doesn't... Does it, does it not have any kind of features saying it can pass through or over or trample or anything like that? No, it doesn't, though. That's really weird. So, it, it has and a burrowing deal. Do it has a burrowing deal, but it's not doing that. I mean, um, but what I want to know is, does it stun? <laughs> That's right. Uh, I don't. That doesn't make any sense to me because you can stun it. I got, I'm sure you can stun it. I've had a few things not make sense to me before, but what you said was that's D and D. It's D and D, but then so. What, I'm just sit, to sit there say that this big boar worm just stops in its track because there's a tornado right in front of it? You know, I guess like, so. You know, that's, I mean, that's how yep. you play it. And it uh, but, uh, Usually if, there, if, a, if an NPC has the ability to go through or over or swallow whatever, it should be listed in their stat block, right? So, yeah. yeah. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the purple worm. He says you can't pass through an enemy's space. That's what the rules is written. Besides, it doesn't look just like the picture that we have. It's a machine. Yeah, but it's, it's a, it, it basically they're saying it's a purple worm. Uh, it's modeled after a purple worm. But I'm looking at the purple worm. What does it? Does it have anything? It has the yeah. I don't, I don't mean to do that. Crap. Oh hell. Just ignore that. Um, <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't burrow. So it can burrow through stuff. So. Okay, so let's say then if it's going to continue moving, then um, weird. Um, yeah, it's a construct, guys. Um, well, it would then use its ability um to bore then and it will let's say uh, 5 10 15 and then you'll see it bore 
half its speed. Let me see. So does this thing have eyes, though? Does it, does it see what's in front of it? It has an ability to see in front of it. So that means it would see that there are things in front of it, so would it not stop to attack or explore or whatever? It would, it's basically to kill. Um... So then it would stop and, and try to kill it, as opposed to just plowing over. It would just, right? I would just, no, I would just eat you. You're, you guys are small enough, you know. Yeah, I mean that's all I can do. I'm just trying to see if there's any. I'm trying to find me an out, like y'all do to me all the time. So and I can't <laughs> find it. So I mean it has, it has to stop. Yeah, I think that's, I think that is the, that's another asinine uh, deal for either side of the table because this thing is, this thing is twice, you know, it's a gargantuan deal. It would just gobble you up. I would just open my mouth and suck y'all in as I'm moving along. No doubt. Uh, anyway, so, but I can't. So they basically just stops right there. Uh, but it is free moving though. So it's a uh, action. It's used its action and it has to use that for the deal. So, okay. Yeah. Um, boom. Top of the order. Quetzal can move up to it and Quetzal still not active. Right. Oh, oh yeah. He doesn't have this sleep icon on him anymore, so he may be here. Yeah. Are you here, Quetzal? Gary, I got your stuff. It's not you're you're not helping. Uh, just let it go. Yeah. So it's a it's something else. It's it's like a boar worm, but it's a metal construct. So, um, uh, I guess he will then use his small. Yeah, the magical weapon. Um, because that's what he would use. What is his magical weapon of choice here? Um, he Did doesn't he have get that he, sawtooth sword made plus one. He's he's turn. He had some stuff up at uh, up at the dudes. He had some magical. He had some magical stuff done to his weapons, or it was in work. He hadn't got it yet. Back yet. Um. Unless I'm wrong on this, he has nothing magical. I'm looking at. He his can word. add. He can add magic to his attacks, though. He is, yeah, he's got spells that can do that. Okay, Smite. that is what we're. Yeah, that would be what it is. So his. Uh, oh, damn it! Oh, well, he has magic. He has magic weapon as a spell, I believe. I think we'd be going for a smite here, wouldn't we? I, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, he does have magic weapon. Thank you. Okay, so um, it's a bonus action. He can touch his maul. And, uh, well, he wouldn't want to use his maul because he just saw, well, it's not mat. It would be able to take the magical cause it's bludgeoning now, but it's magic. Okay. So that's what he's going to do. He touches his weapon. Uh, and he, that's a match. Let's see, put that right there. And then he will then use his maul, um, to swing at this thing. Oh, well, he'll use a point of inspiration and he'll swing again. Uh, oh boy. So, and then he'll use. The the heck? <laughs> These dice are some nonsense today. So, he'll do his extra attack. Oh boy. He'll use another point of inspiration because that's Quetzal. Um. <laughs> There we go. Okay, you got a hit. There we go. And we found goes. it. And that's oh, a javelin. Wrong one. He gave it some damage. Bam! <laughs> yeah, he would, he would um, probably action surge and, and do two more attacks with some... Um, yeah. With Wait, some, action surge is a bonus action, isn't he, it? Uh, hold on. Um, don't no, no. So. I don't think no. so. Okay. Action surge on your turn. You can take an additional action on top of your regular action and a possible bonus action. So, yeah, he can just do his regular. He can take an additional action. So that's what he'll do, which is two attacks, right? So, right. Yep. Okay. That would be correct. With divine smites if he hits. Yeah, that seems wise. Do what now? With smite it, smite. almighty smiter. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The, the reason you play a paladin. I will. I'm not playing it right now. Well, sometimes okay. you have to choose it at the correct okay. time. All right. All right. And then I'll there swing one more time. And 
He's got to use his spell slots for that. All right. So yep. Put that on there and. Hit but it. it's not a spell. Yeah, but he used his spell slots no. to use it though. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, okay. it's a cool yeah. part though. It's not. It's okay. not considered a spell. Bam. So. Yeah, we can take this guy down. Yep. We yeah, got he it. just hurt him. Okay. Big time. Oh. Yeah, we need to go up to uh, to get our stuff. Oh. <laughs> Hit it hard. I want a bonus action blade song. Get him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Use your inspiration. Yep. Click one there. Oh, no. <laughs> this fight was good. So cursed. Uh, the second attack. There you go. That helps. Uh, and that's all I can do. You got an action surge too, right? I do have an action surge. But I, whatever. Okay, that's fine. Good show point. So let's see if we can attack him a couple more times. I want to re-roll it again. Oh, terrible. And then the second attack. All right. <laughs> All right. I think that's it. Shadow? Well, considering they've taken up all the frontline spaces, so I, I can't would assume. Stun. Yep. I would assume that, yeah. Huh? He has to get, yeah, there's no way for him to get, I mean, it's big, but they, y'all guys are all in front of it. If I can't oh, swallow you, not... he can't tickle me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm assuming it's big enough that I can't see the other side, so. It takes up the whole tunnel. Yep. Which is what I was expecting, so I just uh, keep using my hand crossbow. Patink, patink. At least I got it done in a critical. Mm hmm. Yeah. Anything else? He just keeps backing. backing. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna. I'm gonna petition wizards. I want to be able to eat things. Worm this big. Gobble y'all up. Okay, Linder. Uh, it, would I be right in assuming that I could aim a lightning bolt over everybody's heads? Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's, yeah it's 20 foot. It's a 20 foot high ceiling or okay. minimum, <laughs> you know, however big the gargantuan creature would be, you know? So All right. yeah, you're up above their heads easily, but roll a one. Okay. Now that might give them a tickle. Well, I don't, I don't have to roll an attack roll for the lightning bolt. So I oh, don't it's have a save. to save. Damn. Yep. Thwarted again. Hopefully it doesn't roll a 20. That failed. It nice. failed this time. Regular old lightning bolt, though. That's fine. It didn't I, like that. Lightning I bet it didn't. Crackles across, across its plated armor. Okay. So now that we're moving to its turn, since Everett's Black Tentacles is still yeah. up, it yeah. has to make the save again. And it's restrained. But it can bite. It can still attack. That's right? true. Yeah, it just can't move. I believe so. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's, I, think that's, I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, oh boy. I got two attacks. I'm not sure how this works, but I'm going to take them. So, one is its big mouth. Um, it'll give the uh, wimp, the limp feathered wizard, a kiss. 
Oh, actually, it's got a 10-foot range on it still. Okay, well, yeah, it's going to... It's going to... Miss you with the bite. Are you serious? I guess so. What is your AC? I get a... I get an extra bonus to AC with plus for plus five for Blade Song. Jeez Louise! Yep, it's like having yeah. a shield on all the time. It's great. Uh, it's pretty cool. All right, well he yeah he chomps down and misses that, and then this tail stinger comes flying around the backside somehow. <laughs> yeah, it's got a tail and it's going to try to puncture Quetzal. Unbelievable. Un effing believable. Yeah, both miss. Y'all were gonna get really tickled by those. <laughs> I can't do <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh man. That that went totally in y'all's favor. Yep. Yay. Yeah. Everyone's black tentacles saves the day. Yeah. Quetzal fit. Yeah, man. Oh, That's Quetzal's a great oh, yeah. placement. Uh I don't knowing that y'all are so close to <sighs> shit. That's why I hate playing because he would do all this again. Um so he's used his action surge. Um, but would he? Um, he can get the glory of the last shot with a big smite. Yeah, but his magic weapon, that's a second level spell. He's used both his second level spell slots. He can't. It lasts for two minutes, so it's to not up. Oh, is it still on him? Oh, it's still on him. Yep. Okay. Okay. I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah. Then he'll swing in. Um, so says he's still here, so. Oh, well, we'll just, you know what? We're going to run Quetzal out of his inspiration points. He's got four attacks this turn. I wouldn't worry about it. He hits. Nice shot. And he'll swing again. Hitting. And he kills nice. it. Nice. There you go. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, that it you catching it with the tentacles really helped because that thing had a wallop, but I didn't get to use it. So can the worm you, can you the worm is been felled. We need some plate metal off this thing. For once Quetzal's not the one trying to scavenge from bodies. And we need to well, put it in the bag of holding. Well, those <laughs> plates of metal are bigger than I'm all of y'all. St- yeah, the thing, the thing is, the th- it's a huge piece of metal. Uh, I'm not quite certain. I mean, you can find other smaller pieces on it, but it's just metal. So it's, it's adamantine, though, right? No. I, well, I mean, so hold on. Let me go. Let me bring it back up. So, yeah, it's, it's it's so so the the reduced spell works. Um, it would make it. A much more manageable, but it's something a little that we bit. have to. Yeah, it's, its duration is one minute. Yeah. So let me say, okay, the is a if we get it in the bag in less than a minute, does it? Would it stay in there, or would it? Destroy yeah, that's the, bag a, that's the point, right? That might be something crafty because this could be very valuable. It is not adamantine. It's just metal. What? It's magical. Uh, it's how he imbued it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It was a, it was a spell effect on. Yeah, it, it was way it was cre- way God. he created it, but it 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 does not say that it is. And I think the boar worm itself has that ability because Gary they sent me a post and I didn't read it, but I saw something about animantine on it. But according to this, uh, it was a hundred foot long drilling machine <laughs> modeled <laughs> after a purple worm, and it just it, it acts and moves like a purple worm except that it had all these immunities that he put into it and y'all unimmuned it. So, uh, so we ruined it. Yes. Yes. All right. So the metal's worthless. It's just, metal. it's just metal. And you see in its spot, we'll say it had rust all over it and you know, it was, you know, definitely fit in with everything else above it. You saw. So, well, the rust monsters will have a field day with it. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. So, so, so but, no. So bad. <laughs> That's the thing. You've now got this. You've now got a purple worm that's a hundred foot long, filling up the tunnel in front of you. Yeah, but I can fix that. I can just reduce it. <laughs> can we get that far in a minute? 
Let me just um, go through it and see if I can find a passage way through it, because I can squeeze through small places. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But, so I'll just go down the throat and um, see if I can pass through it. There's no exit. It doesn't poop. It doesn't actually do anything. Well, so, well hold on. Maybe, it's, what, maybe it's a boar worm. Also. Yeah, it's a boar worm, so maybe it does have something that it ejects yeah, follow out. The, <laughs> follow, the, follow the sluice way. Yeah, have, yeah, have fun. Have fun. Have somewhere. Yeah, so y'all basically have to go out its anus. Excuse me. Right? Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's been a sluice way yes. on a machine. Well, you know, Robert, you find ways as your characters to really have fun with fun with the <laughs> monsters, you know. So, and he knows what I'm talking about. His, his Robert's previous character were trolls, and now you're going out of boar a boar worm's booty hole. So, you know, um, <laughs> so I need to go back and find that that episode. <laughs> For Robert and the and his troll lovely stuff, that was pretty gross. No, thank you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so it was really raunchy. Uh, okay, so yeah, y'all can yeah, we'll say y'all can you know go through it and you find that the booty hole and uh, but hold on, let me check, I'm making sure. Hey, it's right. kids in. I'll be right back. In yeah, minutes. we want the kids to bed before we get any more description going on there, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's he talking about, booty hole? Um, okay. All right. Only on the rejects, folks. Only on the rejects. All right. So it will now y'all to move into a tunnel that has, um, and as he's, he's, I know he's getting the kids put to bed, but y'all can start moving in there. And basically you're seeing a uh, tunnel that's been open. It's opened up, but there's, you know, you can see that the worm looks like it uh, bores through, it bored through here. Uh, and actually there's a pathway uh, of how it goes around this middle area and then comes, it, it comes out of the tunnel, goes around and then comes right out and goes right up. You can just say there's a big path of what it does. And it just, you know, apparently just goes up and down this tunnel a lot. If that makes sense. So, okay. Um, yeah. Um, Yeah, it's worm based. Um, but the central column of rock before traveling back up. Yep, it loops around that rock. Um, 30 foot high roof. Y'all will see um, passageways because I'm assuming walk around. And you're going to see going back that way. And then you're going to see going back this way. And over here, you will see a set of. Double doors framed with carvings of worm ridden skulls carved into the carved into the lintel above the double doors is a scone sculpted to resemble a skeletal hand with a flame. Um, it's basically it's hand resembles skeletal hand with a flame cast in its palm. There's a little flame flickering in its outstretched palm. Um, That's all that you want from the shadow? Yeah, a pair of stalagmites flank the double doors. And you see more stalagmites and stalactites covering the area. Around down there. This damp, so dripping I... cave contains a veritable forest of stalagmites and stalactites. And you've got passageways to the north and also to the southwest. I I would have uh, uh, just used a, a spell called Enlarge Reduce to reduce the size of that worm so we can get around it. <laughs> you don't want to go back up the booty hole when you leave? No. Nah. Okay, I'm just checking. So... I messed up my hat. So how long is it is to come down that tunnel between the levels? 
Uh, so a couple, I would definitely say uh, uh, most tunnels I'll say has been a couple hours each, you know, minimum. Can get in down there, Duff? No, it does not. Come on, dudes. You have a bit of leg stalactite right in the floor right in front oh, of you. Oh, it's a tight fit. Yep. Not for him, it's not. For everybody else, it would, you know. Just basically, it's double movement, but no biggie to him. He can blow right through it, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah, you come in here and you see a little, uh, um, small little um, claw-shaped cave. Tracks, you see some footprints around, humanoid-shaped. Um, you see some trash, um, some broken shell eggs, some... Um, Moss, some dried up mushrooms, a few pieces of mushrooms that have been, you know, eaten, thrown down on the ground. <clears throat> Over here, maybe uh, back in this little area, um, was probably a little hole dug in the ground. A little, little uh, relieving of oneself was done. Something was well, here. Or the trash on the ground and stuff, and see if there's anything. Interesting. No, yeah, you, it's all no. Dried mushrooms, some moss, a couple of eggs that are, you know, the shells of eggs broken open. Stinks in there. Yeah, it does. Hey, Quetzal. Let's go over here. I'm trying to get to the right spot. So my screen went all went wonky. It's all right. Uh, you've got uh, passage this way, and then yeah, you have the passage to the north, and there's still another stalagmite. I'm oh, sorry, folks. You begin to... There we go. See. Your passageways go before, multiple areas. Before we explore anymore, why don't we take a short rest? Short rest given. Oh, oh. whoa. Oh, oh. Okay. Can I, can I have... I wanted to have casted um, my new spell, Tensor's Transformation. As a contingent spell, contingent based on me getting to like ten hit points. <laughs> Is that possible? What the hell have you were pulling out of your backside, boy? What? Now? Yep, this Conting is a good one. Contingency. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it allows me to do basically prepare a spell to be cast if a certain um, pattern is met or a contingency plan, and I want to cast Tensor's Transformation. You it gives me hit your, points. Until this, but you gain 50 temporary hit points. I thought it was more than just that, though. Yeah, a have, lot more. You have advantage on attack rolls. You, when you hit a target, that target takes an extra D. <laughs> what the ever-loving God. <laughs> <laughs> you have proficiency in all weapons. You have proficiency in strength and saving. Through. Holy hell, how long does this thing last? Ten minutes. Ten. Jesus Christ, doo doo heads. All right. Well, I mean, if it has, I never heard of it until tonight when I was reading it. But it sounds like something a cool little blade yeah, singer would, so would be useful for. So. You cast this the from cast, second edition. So, change the spell doesn't go. To, instead, it takes effect and circumstances occur. You describe the circumstance when you cast the two spells. Water, rain, super water. So, I want to set a yeah. trigger for this thing to happen at like some level of damage whether I, I know that's a complicated one yeah but it has to happens within the first 10 minutes and then within 10 minutes yeah that's, right oh no wait a second it no so this is say 10 days the contingency spell yeah yeah so it's and, something i want to prep 
and then this will be a useful so what's the spell for me. Okay, so hold, but but are, are you saying you're going to do? You wanted to, you said you wanted to take it on a short rest or not? Are you saying you want to do contingency now while you're doing that? And yeah, so it, the idea was it uh, takes ten days to I, cast. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. So what's that contingency? So what is it that will activate that spell? I, I want it to be triggered off like. Some le- yeah, it's a complicated mm-hmm. one in my head, but some level of damage. You Either I to get to ten percent or half my damage or something. Once you have a certain number of hit points left. I think so. Yeah, that, I think you just have to, that makes I think sense. you just have to name it. I think you just have to tell him what you want, and that's just how it is. Cool. So if you want it to go off when you have ten hit points left, then you know. Yeah, more like when I have thirty. When, left. when I have thirty would be better. Well, there you go. All right, then it, 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 thirty-eight it, it, points left. Okay, so it, it, it at thirty, and when you're down to thirty hit points, you're saying you want it to fire off. Yeah. Okay. But I use the spell now. Yeah, you have to cast it now. It only yeah. affects you, and it will affect no matter what. So even if you don't want it, it fires off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. And. Presumably, if you're down to 30 hit points, then something's going on. Yeah, you can only use one contingency spell at a time. You can cast it It again. gives me a lot of health, and then I got other mm-hmm. options is what I'm yeah. thinking, right? Oh, and they want you to have the material components on you, too, but we're not. We're, I haven't ever enforced that, so that's it. Okay, so, you're, uh, so you would also have to make sure that you keep the level 6 active. You can't use it. Um... Because if the spell slot's not there, then it wouldn't fire off. It I doesn't guess. consume the slot when you. Oh start no! It. Contingency is a si- oh, oh, oh yeah. Hold on a second. I don't. I mean, how can you cast? How can that fire off if you don't have the spell slot for it? So you have to read the contingency spell. It should tell you what needs to be done. It is, but you can cast as part of your casting contingency, expending spell slots for both. For both. That's your point. I see your point. Yeah. So you're going to have to go up another. You have to get another spell slot for it to be able to use that. So Because contingency is also sixth level. Unless you want to use your seventh level slot on the contingency and use the it's sixth not. level. It's not. He doesn't have a count. seventh level slot yet. I don't have oh, it. Really? Yeah, no. Huh. Uh-uh. I'd have to use a, really? It has to be a different spell. It can't be... It can't be uh, the tensor transformation. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. All because of his fighter levels. Yeah. Oh, man. You got the right idea. You just need another spell slot for it. Yeah, let's move on. We've taken up so a bunch choose of a different part. spell for your contingency. Yep. Well, I'll okay. figure it out as we go. Okay. All right. So back to this now. Um, I'll let you know that you know, y'all come running around this way and. You're going to find. All right, yep. Yeah, basically, you're just moving in through a a small set of caves and tunnels. Definitely not created. Uh, by your worm um you yep and uh, nothing of interest in that little open area there nope you're seeing dirt see tracks everywhere uh you move in there and you basically well okay i need to really lock tokens you're going to move into the room and you're going to uh you can roll initiatives as you run into the room, basically you find a basically a garden full of fungus, and all of a sudden these creatures pop up, you know, and um, they begin to move towards you. Yay! Did I roll my initial here? Uh, but don't. Oh my God! Uh, Quetzal, I need to roll. Did he roll? Oh, Quetzal's hit. Okay, cool. So I just saw him roll, so I can close his character sheet. All right, let me lock tokens here, and Linder. I think he's got something wrong with his headset, but he's able to control things. Okay.
Do we lose Linder? Oh, no. No, he's, no sorry. I was uh, moving the map so never for everybody to be able to see. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't want to hit him. So I'll wait. And if he moves out of the way on his You turn, can do I'll... it. Just hit him. <laughs> if he moves out of the way on his turn, I'll, sh so I'll shoot him with my uh, whatever, you know, carry an aid with my crossbow. Okay. Or with my longbow. <sighs> Sorry. No worries. Pasture. Oh, Quetzal. Quetzal, what are you going to do? You have a tornado in front of you. Millennium. We'll move right between those guys and do my whirlwind area effect. So I wanted to move right on top. I know of you're on. I just guys. just so you could target them, just so you could see it. I didn't. Want, yeah, I get it. You're on top of both of them. Okay. And so the one that failed his saving throw, which is seven, eight oh, on the right, uh, he eight. gets thrown. Um, so he's flung up to 20 feet away from the elemental in a random direction and knocked prone. Uh, if he out. hits a wall, he takes 26 for every 10 feet that he was thrown. Well, he's... D8? Yeah, D8. Yep, throw that. One, he just... Are you putting north or what? Yeah, it goes north, one, two, at the three o'clock position, so he just basically gets... He basically push him up against the wall right there. Okay, well, he's prone. Oh, okay. Yeah, he'll... Oh, here, let me put that effect on him. Or unless you... Okay, no. already. It's already on there? Okay, got it. All right, Kieran? Since he's out of the way, I'm going to take my long so, shots. You can. My, um... The ring of spell storing is is got five levels of spells, so it's I could, I could have a level three fireball and a level two misty step in it. So that's what I'll do at the moment. I'll misty step to here, and I'm gonna drop a fireball. Get him. You're still casting a spell even though you're using it out of your ring, right? Oh, is it? Sorry, then I can't. Mm -hmm. do if it's that, a right? spell storing ring, then Man. it's already in there, right? That's it's what in, I thought. It's in there, but he still has to. He still has to use the slot. Yeah. I'm trying to find a way to use my cool the toys. slot when you stored the spell. You stored yeah. the slot when you stored the spell. Yeah. Yeah, but don't you have to use an action to pull the spell out of the ring? That's probably right, Brian. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's not. I, I think that's, that's still fine. That's fine. I can do a level three fireball and a my misty step and because it's not two spells that Correct. works yeah it's a bonus action and a regular action and you're not casting a spell with the regular action so it's fine awesome if that works for mr duff because the, spells, the second for the misty step so... drop the fireball out of the ring yeah i guess i probably should put the circle up You can cast any spell stored in it. Uses the slot level. Yep. Of the ability original cast on this trader is because and it frees up space once you cast it. So what the the idea was just to be fun yeah. would be to misty step up there. I could run. It was just style, to be honest. Um and then drop a fireball, but coming out of the ring for the fireball. Oh, okay. I was gonna say He's trying to be me. I'm just trying to be cool, and it's <laughs> <laughs> they're carrying crawls. I would have to say, like can, real life yeah, and D and D life. Can you still cast two spells? 
Back it's not back. casting a spell. It's using. He's the, not casting the a spell. It's a spell storing ring. He's using a, a the ring. He's not casting a spell. Uh, it's your call. Yeah. You're the boss. Yeah. So, there's one time when found creature can Don't cast give him a spell. An inch. <laughs> in the ring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, when the ring, uh, oh, no, the level, this, you can cast any spell stored in it. You still cast the spell. It says, while wearing this ring, you can cast any spell stored in it. So oh, he's, still, it. he's still taking so an action. You, so, you, so you misty step first. Yeah, you're it, still taking the action. It, but no, I he, just run up there. But he's going to run because he can't cast two okay. spells. He'd have to do a cantrip. Yeah. Spell. Yeah, that's what, it, that's what well, I'm going to do. Well, it says as long as you're wearing it, you can cast it. That's right, but it's still a cast. You still, full, you still, still a, fulfill the condition. Yeah. So, But he wants to cast the fireball that's in it. So yeah, yep. I'll run up there instead yeah. of uh, yeah. Misty Stephen. Yeah, we yep. gave him partial cool points for it. So <laughs> and we learned how to use the stuff. That's yeah. the cool part. You're fine. You can get all four of them. Yeah, it blows up. Kaboom! All right, cool. Let's do this. They all failed. Awesome. Not yeah, bad. that seemed to work. Yep, that's it. I'll pass. Okay. Shadow. Nice. One down. Yep. Yep. These things are big too, right? Uh, large, large, I think. I think they're just large yeah. monstrosities. Yeah. Nice shot. And I guess I'll use my bonus to dash. Okay. Well, I don't, um, I guess they would just. I guess they'll both come after the tornado. Um, multi attack. All right. I got a tentacle and a bite. And then a tentacle. Apparently, and a bite. There you go. Boom. Linda. All right, pencil moves up. Get him, Quetzal.
What else? He's typing something. Yeah, I figured as much. He wants the taste of them. Okay. Nice. Okay. That was enough. Yep. Nice. You just bit it to death. <laughs> All right. Felenium. All righty. So I guess I'll be hitting the last one. Hit. Minimum damage. Ooh, yeah, still it kicking, huh? It's still kicking. It's still barely. Karen. I don't want to get near the ugly thing. So I'll just uh, chill touch it. That'll do it. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I better say. Wow. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> it was almost dead anyway. Wow. Okay. It collapses. <clears throat> it's dead. You are inside a fungus garden. Basically, they were uh, moving around. Two of them were eating a dead a dead um, third one. <clears throat> that was down there. Looks like a 10 foot high ceiling. Uh, and you've just got different types of mushrooms and fungus all over the room. When y'all come around the corner here, it's time for your favorite. Uh, you oh, see nice. a pair of standing stones with an inanimate minotaur skeleton embedded in each one of the stones facing each other. The... Um, Standing stones. I'm going to play as quickly as possible. <laughs> uh, yeah. A pair of standing stones with an inanimate minotaur skeleton embedded in each one facing the other. Does it start bleeding? Nope. It sounded like the one we saw a few level, a couple levels up. Uh, let me make sure. Because I see your uh, power-ups. Let's watch. No. Just. That's it. That, that's all you see. Nothing else. Are you invisible again, Shadow? I will go invisible, but I am not at the moment. I think I fixed my invisibility because it wasn't actually turning off when I attacked. So I think I fixed it so that it should. Okay. You just got a bunch of black mold and a uh, bunch of pieces of mushroom just kind of all pounded into the ground here and you've got yeah I can actually quite so long as it is off so. okay Move into here, and you um, begin to see it. It opens up to a room, and it smells like tr filth in here, just trash and 
you know, rot. Not sure if you can smell with all that wind blowing it everywhere, though. <laughs> Elementals actually don't need to breathe. Yeah. So you don't know that. Everybody else can smell filth in the area. Can you unmask what's down to the south end of that room? Maybe. Maybe I don't want to. All right, yeah, well, so when you do that, charging out of the darkness, is this large looking, hideously deformed black um, dwarf, wild eyed looking at you, and it is initiative time again. I'm going to re-roll my inspiration because I haven't used any in, uh, what you, re-roll my initiative. I haven't used any. That's online. fine. Yeah. And what you see before you is basically, it looks like it definitely is a dark dwarf. Um, but it is actually, you. it's almost like it looks like an Etten though. It's got two heads. Um, well, it's one big head, but you can see two faces. Uh, ears, eyes, two noses, ear, three ears, uh, three eyes, two noses, two mouths. It has a third arm on its right side and a third leg. Uh, actually, its left leg splits into two at the knee, giving itself three feet. And it's foaming at the mouth and wild-eyed looking. And it is and it is enlarged itself. So there we go. Y'all are welcome. Live with that one for a while. Frothing at the mouth. I'll use an inspiration on that one. Okay. Well, nice. You end its you end its life. Oh. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> he scared me for a minute there. Um, I guess I'll uh, look look through his belongings and there see is no belongings. Is Le- there Naked? are none. No, yeah, I didn't even have any clothes on. In that case, I don't search him at all. I mean, you could do other <laughs> searches if you wanted, but, you know, that's just between you and it. Walk around the room. I'm not going to search a naked. All right. Just, just checking. Y'all went through a butthole of a purple worm. So, you know, I'm just, you're all into those things. So. All right. And moving along. And, uh. You can do that. There you go. What we're going to do... Oh, Kieran's going back toward the worms. Did you want something, Kieran? Awesome, awesome loot. (laughs) Well, you have the gate in front of you. I know. I'm going to go with these dummies, though. We should just go through the gate. You should. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to position you guys right here because I need to read up on this level. So this is where we're going to hold. Right in front of the doors. So you guys. All right. Yep. Since it's new, I didn't get a chance to catch up on this one yet. And... Put everybody in play here. And that is where we'll put the doors. Put everything at. These double doors before you. That double doors framed with carvings of worm-ridden skulls. Framed with carvings of worm Carved into the lintel above the double door. Is a scone sculpted to resemble a skeletal hand with its with a flame that you notice doesn't flicker, but just emanates out of the top of the hand in its palm. Boom. All right. With that being said, we'll wait till Linder catches up. He's a little slow sometimes. Uh, I don't know if y'all ever got the name. You got Zox. We did. Oh, we, we did give it the name. Okay. 
I can tell you that I his so. name was. Yeah, actually, I probably did say it, and it, it, he would have. He would have. He was nice. His name was. Yeah, I did. Clamor Sham. Two M's and then one M. Yep. Okay. Okay. Lender's writing down to stories to tell in the bar. There you go, Clamor Sham. Okay. All righty. So then, actually, I probably want to know what uh, everybody has got. Uh, so what's the next level? 165. Wait. Yeah, 165,000. Yep, All right. Yep. So, boom. Well, that's nice. expected. That's pretty good. Okay. That's what you got there. The Durgar, the Boar Worm, and the... Um, um, Jiren has know. enough XP for level 15. That doesn't sound right. Uh, <laughs> Did you forget to change your next level XP? Hey, 12. It should be I didn't change it. 13. He's it at four, be. he's at 14 right now. What? I'm at one I'm at 14.3. The last line in the chat. That's, what? What the hell? <laughs> oh, uh, I don't think he needs to bump up his level. Um, that's what it is. He needs to put. Yeah, okay, that's all it was. Oh, so. you need to drag a new level on? No. It, oh, he's already wanted to. No, he. I leveled him. When he leveled, he hadn't bumped up, and he it had. Mm. I know what happened. So I'm not. I'll, okay. Yeah. So no, we'd not level him up. They got a button now. Open character wizard. Yeah, and I level. noticed it. I just clicked on it. It's weird. It will level you up when you're. It's time, so do not click that, Karen, until next one. <laughs> yeah. It actually will take you to the um to the uh, the leveling the uh, the the character creation wizard, so you can mm -hmm. edit that way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So this is where we'll hold for the night uh, until next Tuesday. Uh, uh, are, so checking with everybody, I've asked the other ones, are anybody, I'm, I'm assuming no one's traveling this next week, but I just want to make sure that it, uh, is everybody needing, wanting to play next Tuesday. Nobody's doing any traveling. Up until that. last week, I was actually going to be traveling this, uh, to this coming week, but we actually changed plans. Okay. Anybody else? available? Okay. Rest of you boneheads. No, as long as it's not on Thanksgiving, I don't care. Yeah, that's making sure. So. I've got a. I've got to bounce around scheduling for the weekend because I've got two projects. Thanksgiving weekend is one of my busiest day, times of the year uh, for IT stuff. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, we're good for next Tuesday then. Okay, so that's where we'll hold here. Uh, good job, guys. You got your experience. I will go through and definitely uh, check coding, make sure everything's there. But I, I think we're pretty good. And for everybody else, thank y'all for watching. We're back here tomorrow night. Uh, with G Mech 45 and Tales of the Sanguine Isles. Uh, Thursday night is Yawning Portal with King Bashman. And then I'm here Friday night with the uh, Waterdeep Dragon Heist Group, uh, the Dinglings, and then Saturday night with the ladies uh, with uh, Rise Up Against the Slave Lords. Uh, and so a full week and partially partial next week. We're not sure. And i got to figure that all out with the shows. But anyway, other than that... Um, Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow night. Take care.